Hello, I'm Fontani, the Scar Ghost. As you seen today, I'm trying the hand tracking on the Oculus Quest. And I want to tell you about my experience with it. So, as you can see, I'm using it in the menu because for now it is not available in other third uh, party apps because the SDK has been released just today. And how you can use it? You can. Uh, it is a bit like with HoloLens. You say OK, you click just with pinching with the thumb and the index finger. And you can drag or scroll by keep pinching and moving your hand. Uh, you can see in this video that there are also this gesture. This is the one of the Oculus key. So palm up and pinching. Uh, there is a virtual cursor in the menu that follows your hand. It is very smart that it tries also to understand uh, what is the direction of the hand, what you're pointing at. And it is very usable. I found the uh, uh, interface with the hands very usable. Uh, the cursor is a bit smoother too much you know, and it can't always understand what you're pointing at. So the position is not always exactly what you want it to be. But it works very, very well in my opinion. And the other drawback it is a bit tiresome because you have to keep your hands in front of the headset every time. But I've been very satisfied. This is the first iteration in my opinion. It is very, very good. Okay, so now let's test the accuracy of the device with the speed stress test, like in a boxing game, like our it motion reloaded. It doesn't work, it loses the tracking too much, but it's good that it recovers it very, very soon. So I uh, think it has potential for the future, but for now it doesn't work well. Okay, now with the little trick, I can superimpose my real hand with the virtual hand and see when the tracking works and when not. Um, it is important to see that it works most of the time. Uh, as you can see, it works well. Only if I put my hand in a weird pose, it loses the tracking. Uh, it is impressive because it can track all the fingers, even the middle finger, the ring, the pinky. Uh, even if the hand is lateral, if the, uh, you can see the back, if you can see the palm, it works very well. <clears throat> Only there is a little problem of latency. The detection of the virtual hand is actually a bit late towards the real position. It is not a problem if you use your hand for, uh, you know, for many interactions. Um, also, the detection is not so work perfectly. For instance, if I put my hand in very weird poses, it doesn't work. It doesn't work even with in motion. Uh, it detects that the hands, in this case, the, in the fingers are closed, but can detect how it is in reality. It is reactive. Um, actually, I'm impressed because I thought it worked uh, really worse than this from what people told me. With two hands, the detection is very good as soon as the hands are separated. So if you put them close to each other, it doesn't work anymore. And this is a serious limit, and in this, lip motion is far, far better because you can also cross the hands. Here, in this case, as soon as the hands are close, it doesn't work anymore. But anyway, my final impression is that I came out very, very impressed by hand tracking on the Quest because this is the first version. And as a for a first version, it is very good for your interactions and detection works very well in a very reliable way. So for sure in the future, they will add two hands interactions. And I'm very intrigued about the possibilities of hand tracking on Quest. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if it is the case, please like it and subscribe it and donate to me on Patreon and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.